Digo is a free, very easy tool that you can download to your own computer that allows you to highlight web pages and see your highlights on those web pages from any computer that you go to. Um, for example, here's a web page that I'm reading right now. And you can see that I have already highlighted this area in blue. Now I'm going to highlight another one right now, just for an example, and show you that as soon as I highlight this page, this section, um, a pop-up box will come up asking me if I want to do anything. There's Digo. And you notice my options are highlight. Yes, I want to highlight it, but I can also highlight and bookmark. We'll talk about that later. Or highlight and sticky note. Now, sticky notes right here are your online annotation. In a, in a book you're reading, you can write in the margins and underline. Now, with Digo, you can quote, write with a highlighter on a website and also take notes. Just like adding a post-it note to a real book, you can add a sticky note. So I'm going to click Add Sticky Note. And there it is. It pops up. Now, as a teaching tool or a research tool for your students, it's an amazing thing. So there is what I have highlighted. And I'm just going to put uh, uh, some fake notes here. Mm. Focus question. One, why did the French Revolution go radical? And then I'm going to put some vocab notes here. Sans culottes. Bourgeois, etc. Okay, so I'm going to submit this sticky note, which means it will submit it to my Digo website. I'll show you that in a second. And also, it means that it will pop up any time that I come back to this page. I will see this note. So I've got a post-it note on the internet on this website from any computer I go to. So I'm going to submit it. You see it just showed up right there. There's my focus question and my vocab words. And now I'm going to close it. Now, you see that the section that we just highlighted is now in blue also. And you see that when I take my mouse and put it over the blue, there's my sticky note right there. OK, now, furthermore, besides when you go to Digo and you, it's www.digo.com. And you sign up, it takes you two minutes. You give them your email address, they'll send an email to you, and you will just click on the link on the email, and you're basically set up. Um, not only do you get to do this stuff on, your, on the websites you visit, but it consolidates all of the websites that you have visited on your Digo My Bookmarks page. So you see right now, there it is, my, the page that we just looked at, the French Revolution Radical Stage. Now you see that here, the expand all, I'm sorry, the expand button here, that's where my uh, sticky notes, my post-it notes, annotations are. So when I click on expand there, it shows me only the sections of that website that I have highlighted. And right here is the website part that I highlighted. So that's the actual text that I'm commenting on. And then here is my sticky note, my own annotations. There were two parts of that website that I highlighted, so that was the first one. Here's the second highlight in its own box, and my sticky notes again. Now, if I were to want to make a vocab list, look how easy. In fact, a study guide. I could just copy and paste these things on a Word document or whatever. And there it is. So all of my running notes, I could uh, easily turn into a piece of paper to hand to students or, of course, better still, just something to put online for them. So OK. Um, you see that Lecture 13 was the last one that we bookmarked. Now I'm just going to show you. OK, so I go to another page about the death of Robespierre and the French Revolution. And I'm going to just highlight something. OK. Um, 
his closing on why terrorism or, or rule by terror is necessary during a time of revolution. And this book has, this page has not been highlighted yet, so I want to bookmark it, meaning send it to my Digo homepage. Highlight and bookmark. Now, as soon as you bookmark a page, you only do it one time per page, it's going to ask you to put tags on there. Now, what is a tag? It's like an index entry. Um, so tags I want to use for this are revolution, history. Each time you use a space, it creates a new tag. Revolution, history, and then to have a two-word link, French Revolution. And I keep tags for, well, that's enough. All right, and I'm going to just hit Submit and Close. So now you see up here it says bookmark saved. That has been saved to Digo. Now, I'm going to go back over this. I haven't left a sticky note yet. So Digo pops back up. It knows that I probably want to add a sticky note. So it asks me if I want to. Yeah, I do. So now I'm just going to add a sticky note. Focus question. Why does Robespierre say terror is necessary? No, terror is virtuous, whatever. And then some vocab. Blah, blah, blah. All right, just to give you the idea. And I'm going to click Submit. Now, the reason I'm doing this, okay, and there it is. It's been submitted and saved. I'm going to close it. Now, the reason I'm doing this is to show you that no sooner have we done that on this page, this is uh, Robespierre's Republic of Virtue, a new page that we just bookmarked. Let's go back to my Digo page. And I'm just going to refresh it. And the new page should pop up right here, showing us the one that we just did. And there it is. You see that that quickly, online, I've got Robespierre's Republic of Virtue. And I'm going to expand that and show you that my sticky note showed up underneath the um, section of the web text that I highlighted. All right, so that's Digo. It's free, it's easy, you download it, it takes a couple of minutes. I can't recommend highly enough that you use it with Firefox. Just go to, do a Google search for Firefox and download it to your computer. Use it instead of Internet Explorer, Microsoft. You won't get nearly as many viruses and it's way more powerful and easy. All right, I hope that helped. Thanks a lot. And let's see how this works. See you next time.